Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an exciting video. Um, super exciting for me, hopefully exciting for you. And I'm going to be revealing to you guys my first Dior bag. Wow! Can you guess what it is by the way that I'm just like moving it around? So briefly talk about how I acquired this bag. This bag is a vintage bag. It is officially vintage this year. It turns 20 years old in June and I hunted for a good priced bag of this style. There's maple in the background. Um, I am dog sitting right now in my video because I'm the only one that's home currently. Um, and the way that I found this bag, it's through the Dior Retsy community on Facebook. And even then, like you have to be a little bit wary about who's selling because I feel like there's some fake items that slip into the cracks. But luckily for me, and I think even during the time of this video, Fashion File is selling the exact same bag, but for way, way more. Um, so I kind of, when I was looking at this, I still had the reference. I've had this for, you know, all of March. I basically got it the first, I think I got it like March 1st or 2nd it arrived. And I've just kind of been like hoarding it and not sharing it just because I've also been really busy with life and school. Um, so to sit down to make uh, this video is like I have to be like in the right mindset She has to be wearing like the right clothes just to feel like the excitement that I feel um, I've always said that I've always loved Dior Like fashion and like Dior style over like Chanel and Louis Vuitton um, I don't know. I just feel like the femininity of Dior like personally resonates more with me and my style um, so yeah, however, Dior is also expensive, but I guess if you are interested in that and you're not like interested in selling off later, I think that, um, buying second hand through Dior is where I'm going to save a lot of money. Uh, just because for some reason, you know, Dior doesn't hold its value that much unless it's like an it bag or if it's like a smaller bag, then it's closer to retail value. But, um, you know. I went for a classic option, if you know what I mean. So I guess let's go ahead and go to the reveal and then we'll show, or we'll talk about the specs. All right, are you ready? I'm pretty sure you all guessed it if you are a handbag connoisseur. It's a lady! She's a lady, a lady, and I have Coco right here, and that's this little fur ball that you see. But she's a lady, a lady. Mm, 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 mm. So I have always wanted a Lady Dior bag. Um, Princess Diana is one of like my favorite like icons ever, and I wanted like the Chanel Diana bag and I regret like not buying that when I really wanted it because um, when I was interested in it it was going for $1,800, $2,200, really good one, $24 and now it's more than double to get one so I regret not getting it and you know the next option that I also was obsessed with was the Lady Dior that Diana made famous especially after her divorce with um yeah we're not gonna get into it because it like I am I get mad about what happened to her because I believe she was murdered. I do. So this is her. Uh, again, like I said, as of this morning when I'm filming this, Fashion File has the exact same bag with more specs than what I got it for. Going for originally, they were selling it for fourteen hundred dollars more. Then they took it off and then they brought it back and now it's going for, I believe, $1,100 more US dollars than what I got this baby for. So, yeah. So this bag specifically just came as is, just the bag. It does not have the strap. It does not have the dust bag. The seller that I bought this from was nice enough to like send me like an extra dust bag. She sent me a bunch of goodies and a little handwritten note that I have to say that that was like the sweetest experience ever. This, uh... Twilly scarf thing I purchased myself off of a Etsy seller and I think it's really fitting for this bag. 
now a couple things with this bag obviously because it's a lot older um, it's not like in pristine condition but it's in pretty good condition for the age of the bag and the fact that it has had at least two owners prior to it coming into my hands so I'll just show you real quick so it is like a light beige with gold hardware this is the bag in the back it is currently stuffed right now I do have like um, a jacket stuffed in it just to preserve the shape a little bit because if I take it out it does have a little bit of structure loss only in the back so I'll show you what it looks like without um, it being stuffed so I don't know if you'll be able to see like in the back here it actually doesn't look as bad because it has stayed stuffed and I have been popping out I don't know what this bag is made of but you know when it loses structure I don't know if it's like I'm not gonna say it's cardboard because I know it's not but it was like popping in you can see a little bit how it like squeezes in like right there that's where it had a little bit of its structure loss but it was perfectly fine in the front um, after the bag was stuffed it seems to hold it looks a lot better it's holding itself up pretty well so I'm debating on getting a a bag organizer for her just so it just keeps its structure and it stays popped out especially as I'm using it but it's not like my top priority right now of course because this bag is 20 years old it has had a lot of wear so I know that the previous owner or two previous owners ago not the one that sold it to me but the one that sold it to her got it from a Japanese reseller and um, this bag has been painted on, that's the thing. So back here, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that much, but some of like the repainting has either come off, at least it's in the back, so I'm not like super concerned on it. There's other areas of the bag that, you know, you can tell a little bit that it has been painted over. So like right here, you see how there's like a darkening underneath the paint. Um, I believe that they redid the corners of the bag. The corners of the bag aren't that bad, honestly. Like, it doesn't look bad. Um, and there's, like, some scratches right here. It's mostly in the back. There's not so much, like, wear in the front. There's, like, some scratching right there. And because I got this bag for $1,200... I can't complain about the wear on the bag. Honestly, this is the only way I could afford like a Lady Dior based on my current situation. It was a birthday gift to myself slash um, family members kind of chipped in with birthday money. So this is my 25th birthday gift to myself. Um, if you saw my get ready with me, 25, 25th. <laughs> 25 has always been like a big deal to me I don't know why it just has so I wanted something symbolic regardless of what the world is going through for turning 25 because I feel like that's like official like you're an adult I don't know and like I've always been like such a girly girl and I feel like this couldn't have been a better bag um, there is like some oxidizers oxidization oxidizing oxidizing going on like over here um, on these little grommet pieces I mean what can you expect this bag was made in 2001 according to the date code on it my I don't know why the camera is having like issues with lighting right now let me see if I could try to fix that okay hopefully it's not too too bright but just to kind of finish or fix the darkness a little bit um, there is some oxidizing on the handles handles <laughs> here and I have to say the most repainting that was done um, that's a little bit obvious that they didn't do like the best job ever are in the handles and that's why I have a twilly on the front also just to kind of take the focus off of the repainting because if you can see on this handle they definitely did not do a whoever repainted this bag did not do like the best job when it came to the stitching However, the positive that I have to say about 
you know, not affecting it that much is that Dior customer service and like Dior spas from what I've heard is really, really awesome and you can send off to get the handles replaced. Um, I want to have some time with this bag and get my wear out of it before I decide to get the handles redone and it didn't come with the strap and you can actually get a strap from Dior as long as they have like the same colors which because this is such like a neutral classic color i'm pretty sure they will and it's for like a small fee um since i don't have proof i think like they don't ask for like oh within five years or within proof like they will do it they will send it to the spa from again from what i heard and um so most of the oxidization i don't even know if i'm saying that right oxidizing that's happening on the grommets on the handles will get replaced once the handles are replaced so it'll be looking a lot better the charms are like perfect there are hardly any scratches there is obviously some wear to it that where it just doesn't look like pristine but what do you expect to happen i don't know for it being 20 years old it looks great it just looks awesome and especially like we're nitpicking the bag here but for 1200 dollars, it's an amazing amazing condition considering what like I don't know, like Fashion File or like Vestiaire or Rebag will sell like a destroyed bag for even more money. Um, so in comparison to like what you would get for $1,100, $1,100 more dollars compared to Fashion File is obviously the Dior dust bag, the straps, and even the one that they have on Fashion File, like it had more structure loss than this. It doesn't look like a square anymore. It looks very like squishy. Like that bag is probably not painted and condition wise it's better but I don't really have a problem with bags being repainted to give them a fresher look um I don't that's why I went with this bag um I don't know if the Dior spa could do anything about it like I don't know if they'll help even though it's already been repainted but I think the main problem problem with the bag or the handles and they can definitely replace that from what I've been told and I'm so happy I love this bag it's just I think it's perfect I think for again what I paid for like I couldn't ask for more the tiny like little things that are like wrong with the bag are not that big of a deal to me like you know bags are meant to be worn and you know because I didn't spend like almost five thousand dollars which is what a brand new bag would cost I'm not afraid to like wear it and that's what I love about buying second hand is that you get such like a good deal or a discount or a bag that's already like been loved and so you're not afraid to use them and you're not babying the bag not to say that I, again I throw my bags around but like I use the heck out of my bags and I want to use them that's what they're for they're not just to sit like on a shelf and look pretty and have no one else like admire them like out in the real world by myself because oh it has to be worn in like a certain occasion but I love it and I think this scarf looks really good I again I'm not the best at scarf tying I haven't been into like the luxury bag scene um like physically having bags for very long so you know with practice it'll get better over time but this is my bag and because it is an older version it has the zipper here i haven't actually worn her out yet just because um when i i don't know like i haven't gone anywhere or like worn an outfit yet where it's like worthy to use her the inside looks amazing even with the however many owners this bag has had it does not have like a smell or anything i guess because it's like a 2001 bag and not like a 80s bag that's been sitting in like a ladies closet in a box forgotten um so i'm very happy with this purchase again um i drained my luxury savings that i had to buy this as well as birthday money that i got so it was like a big collaboration between a lot of people to get this, but all all for a good cause, right? I don't know, I'm just really happy about it. She's so pretty. Um, and again, the structure loss is not even like a big thing. It's something that's fixable. It's not like this bag is like complete mush and it's hopeless, so. This is my new baby and honestly, 
$1,200 for like a very good condition Lady Dior. Like, yeah, it's been painting on, painted on, and the handles, like, you know, could probably be replaced, but like, it's not like they charge you an arm and a leg to do that. Um, so even with the cost, of getting that done and like getting a new strap it's like nowhere compared to what like other resale markets are or resale sites are selling them for so I can't complain with my budget and what I got like this was a steal and I'm so happy and because of like this purchase because it was such like a good find like I this this, this hunt I want to hunt for like good bags and good deals rather than just like getting like like seeing fashion file and be like oh that's a lot of money that's how much i have to save up i'm like no there's something there's something out there before i even like pulled like the trigger although i do think i need to like slow my roll with like bags a little bit um and right now i'm like in a temporary like peaceful situation with my bags um I say temporary because obviously there's still things that I want but I am at peace and like in the sense that like I have I, I like what I have and I need to enjoy what I have and use what I have also like save for like the next bigger ticket item I mean this naturally like brand new or even like slightly used is a big ticket item and the fact that like I got it for like a, a smaller ticket in my opinion is like wow but like now I need to like save for a real big ticket like a Chanel bag then that's gonna take a while because I have other priorities I want to do but this is definitely keeping me at like temp per purse piece for a while so I'm very happy about it I'll definitely keep you guys updated on how a 20 year old lady Dior lady Diana lady Dior bag holds up and when it's time to officially um, send it off to the Dior spa to get all the bells and whistles that this bag deserves so let me know what you think of the bag I love it I'm excited I can't wait to start using it um, obviously I see a trend on like the bags that I purchased and I'm really into like beiges and whites probably should steer a little bit away from it because of color transfer um, but I'm excited I just think it's like yes like that type of beigey white is like good for year round in my opinion so i'm excited <laughs> okay that's enough for right now and i will see you guys all in my next one bye